Hey passengers, welcome back. I am in Panama City, Panama. Now, I expected to go to Panama Canal and my Uber driver drove me there. We got there, it was closed. I had no idea what to do next, so I said, just take me to the old city, old Panama City. So he dropped me off. I have no idea where I am. Um, I took my mask off just for this video, but it looks like everyone is wearing a mask. So I have mine available and it's time to go. I'm here for a very short time. Uh, I'm on a layover for work. So it's, I don't know what to do. I'm in a foreign country to me. It's more of a modernized country, so I should be okay. Um, I speak like zero Spanish. So I hope Google Translate assists me today. I don't know what I want to do, but come on, let's find some stuff. As soon as I got out of my Uber ride, I noticed a smell that brought me back to the country. I smelled something burning and I was curious what it was, but it was faint. It wasn't so strong. Um, as I'm about to walk, I just noticed there's some wildlife I'm about to encounter. Now, this is a domesticated cat, so in Panama, they've got some other um, animals here that I will, I don't think I'm gonna be able to see today because I have such a short day, but I'm about to walk straight into this kitty. Hi, kitty. How are you doing? Yeah? Hola. Hola, kitty. Hola. Hi, babies. I know, I know. <laughs> well, if that's not being um, welcomed by the locals, I don't know what is. <laughs> they are burning this area here and it is uncontrolled. It seems like a very uncontrolled fire. So, I'm not sure, but my friend has returned to me. Hi there. Hi. Hola. I put my mask back on because like I said, everybody is wearing a mask here. I do not want to be that guy that's looking out of place, even though I already look out of place. Um, but I mean, all the construction workers are wearing masks. Everybody is wearing a mask here. And at the time of this video, it is August, excuse me, October uh, the 4th. So I'm willing to travel anywhere. I don't mind. I like to go into alleys. I like to see things that I normally wouldn't get to see. But right now I'm wondering if my Uber driver just dropped me off at a place where I don't, I, mean, I don't have a clue where I am. We'll figure it out here in a little bit, hopefully. Oh, wait a minute, okay. Now, I did a little bit of research and I think I know what this is. I believe this is the uh, Campania de Jesus and I'm reading that, by the way.
and out of nowhere, the rain just came down. Luckily, I'm able to be standing under a um, topping on the side of this building so I don't have to get wet. And I noticed that they realize it rains a lot. And with that, they can put uh, their merchandise outside as well without it getting wet as too. All right, so where I am is down here. Where I want to be is up there, I think. All right, so they had the uh, merchandise outside. They've taken that away. I just realized I might as well go into the shop. Come on. Let's take a look. Some of the merchandise they have in here. Hello. Hola. How are you? How are you? Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Get some coffee, pala otto, so you know, don't stop. This is more of a tourist um, type of gift shop, I'm guessing. A lot of the stuff here is more gift shop stuff. So I see they have the genu genuine Panama hats, and that's over here. Hello. The hats are available, but these are genuine handmade. As I understand, they are not made in Panama. Is that right? The Panama hats are not made in Panama? No, the Panama hat is made in Ecuador. Ecuador, yes. Because that's where the... Pan Panamanian hats. Or Panama hats. Which one? These? Real Panama hats, yes. Made yeah. in Panama. Ah. So this is the price, 28 US dollar? Yes, sir. For one Panamanian hat made in Ecuador. Yes, sir. It's still a good hat, right? It's still a great hat. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Handmade, beautiful. Oh, I like this actually a lot. This is really neat. 70 US dollars, oh my goodness. I like, that's pretty. I'd have that in my house, I like that. And I like this too, a lot. Empanada? Yeah. Oh my. Hola. Hola. This is apple, beef, eggplant and zucchini, pineapple, chicken, spinach, uh, and green cheese. Maybe. How about chicken? Empanada? Yeah. yeah. What? Yes. Please. Oh, wonderful. As I was waiting for the rain to settle down, I didn't realize I was standing right in front of a bakery with chocolates, some empanadas, some local uh, cerveza. And this cerveza I received, the beer is a, um, a Blanche craft beer. It's from uh, Arana uh, Dorada. Anyway, this is a um, beer that's been brewed here in Panama. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's a Belgian style, um, with beer, and then I also got a uh, chicken empanada. With this chicken empanada, they use it on the panani press um, to get warm it back up. But with those two in itself, was a grand total of. Let's take a look. Uh, five dollars and seventy-five cents, and then I added a dollar tip because. Um, they were wonderful. They gave me this hot sauce to try with my empanada. And this is a uh, picanto chombo, um, habanero pepper. And I love a habanero. So let's give it a try. I don't like doing food critic um, stuff, but it's needed. You kind of want to know what you're trying, right? All right, so I love hot sauce. So let's put that out there first. 
and I'm gonna give a good bit of, as much as I can, get good flavor. It's coming off because it's a pork. Anyway. <clears throat> First, the habanero is strong. Definitely, that habanero flavor is there. Now let's try this beverage of my choice because the habanero is strong. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's tasty. Take a look. I'm not sure if you can see this. Oh, that's good. I like the flavor. The habanero has a bit of a bite to it where, to me, the spicier um, peppers don't taste the same as the habanero does. So, uh, ghost chili peppers have been a favorite of ours. Um, when we pickled them with, well, pickles. Am I gonna enjoy this? Most likely. Now let's try it with this empanada. I got a chicken empanada, and it was heated once again with the uh, panini press. So I'm gonna just take my fingers here. Mm -hmm. Um. The flavor of the um, empanada is strong. The hot sauce is kind of taking that away and changing it. Let's try it one more time. I'm dousing it now this time. Mm. Mm. It was married very well together. Yeah, there it is. That's why she offered me that. So good together. And I just stumbled onto this place. My Uber driver dropped me off. I didn't know where I was. Um, we're gonna make the best out of it. Today is gonna be an amazing day. So let's get some energy in us and let's see if uh, this rain will subside. And let's go. So very tasty. Wow. We love empanadas. Yes, I do. Uh, Bocas de Toro, a Casa Antigo, super gourmet. Yes. And the friend is right there waiting for everyone to come out. Yes. Here are the hours. Oh, so beautiful and tasty. And it's right over there is that uh, former church. So the rain has stopped and we've got Policia. All right. Well, my Uber driver did me great because now I know where I am. And I recognize a couple of things. And right now, we've got a historical map in front of us. Our gazebo is beautiful. And as I walk around here, first thing I notice is this gorgeous historical church. My goodness. Panama has so much history to it that we Americans don't know much about, um, even though the United States had a huge role with the Panamanian um, Canal, the Panama Canal. So uh, there's a lot of history here that you really should do the research yourself i know i'm going to but i want to get a little closer to this church here i mean it's gorgeous isn't that just beautiful i mean they've got these statues up here oh the plaza mayor so i do want to apologize for anybody who speaks spanish fluently i do not speak um spanish at all uh so if i hear it i'm going to try to say it the same way I've heard it, but I do apologize if I'm saying it wrong, first and foremost. It's just not my native tongue. So this square though is gorgeous. Take a look. Okay, so my thought was that right now, but oh my goodness, look at this. Just look with me.
I hear the thunder and the rain is starting to come back down. I got to find me some shelter. I think it's going to storm on us here. Well, I have been to Peru before and one thing I see is a Peruvian cuisine. Now, I'm not here to get Peruvian. I really just want to try all the Panamanian foods that I can. But being the rain is here, I'm going to see if they have a Pisco Sour. All right, I just walked up to it and they are closed. So no Peruvian today as of now. Um, one thing I have always enjoyed my whole life has been alleys. And I like how this is in an alley. Um, it's one of my favorites. I, when I was a kid, I lived on Elm Street and you know, Nightmare on Elm Street was coming out. But behind us, we had a, um, a grass alley. Well, since then, I have always been a fan of alleys, and I love it in Europe and also in other countries, and this is so cool. It's definitely going to be a place I want to come back to again. One, because of the alleys. Two, the people are amazing. Three, the food so far has been wonderful. The atmosphere is uh, electric. Um, you're not necessarily seeing it on this video, as I know it's there before, but uh, I'm telling you that this is going to be a place I want to come back to. And I recommend you come yourself as well. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be a great place. Maybe we'll do some more videos here. All right, got a lot more to see. It's starting to rain. I got to find a place to go to. Oh, this will be a good jump seat right here with no cigarette people smoking. Yes. You can get a snow cone being made right there. Okay. I've heard about snow cones being made here. I kind of wish somebody was manning the snow cone machine. I really wish I could have one. Um, while I'm looking at that, look, San Francisco. Oh, I just saw some lightning. Clouds are angry. So I just took my mask off. I am away from everybody, but I've noticed so many people are wearing their mask here in Panama. I do not know the COVID restrictions. I do not know how many people have contracted COVID. I don't know how many people have died from COVID, but today is October the 4th, and that is historical data that is easily uh, able to find. I just kind of don't want to know. I'm hoping it's going to be a low number, um, but I've been vaccinated uh, as a flight attendant. My airline has now required everybody to have it. They're working on the details right now. Um, most uh, airlines are doing the same thing. So I'm ready for my booster. Definitely am ready for my booster. But take a look at this view. Panama City. I came over to take a look at the view and I'm noticing that there are some locks. Love locks right here. How cool is this? A plus C, uh, you've got A and S. Wow, my goodness. How neat is this? K and C. Oh, they got even a special one just for them. How cool is that? I will tell you, it is so amazing to be in Panama City, Panama. It's a place I never thought I would come to. It's a place I can't wait to come back to though. I'll tell you that. So when I was in high school, I learned Spanish um, by 
just showing up to class. I didn't learn much. I was just a average student when it came to foreign language. Um, in fact, I failed Spanish. Not once, I failed it twice. So I never thought I'd ever want to be in a country that speaks Spanish so fluently until I've been here. Now, now mind you, I've been to other places too. I've been to Puerto Rico, I've been to um, Mexico, I've been to uh, Madrid, I've been to Barcelona. I mean, I love them all very much. There's something that is attracting me to uh, Panama City and I haven't put my finger on it yet. I just wish I learned Spanish when I was in high school. That's kind of my biggest regret that I have is I was not able to be fluent in Spanish. Uh, Panama is, uh, I don't know, there's just a vibe around here that I'm loving. I don't, I can't put my finger on it. And if I do, I'll let you know, but uh, there's so much to see here that I'm not going to be able to do today. You know, the Panama Canal, couldn't do. The rainforest, too far away right now, I can't do. It's raining right now and um, so there's not a ton I can do here either. Maybe that's it. Maybe that I know there's so much I want to see, there's so much I want to do, I have to come back. Anyway, as this traveling jump seater takes a look at this seat right here, I think it's a beautiful view. You have an attraction above you and around you, you can take a look at, and the city is among you. All right, folks, we're gonna take a little bit more strolls around the city. Right now I'm in old Panama City. We're gonna hit up new Panama City. All right, follow. Thank you. It's a QR code. Wonderful. And you send the phone. If you need Wi-Fi, the passport and the rent is on top of the door. Wonderful. Okay. Excellent. Gracias. So I think a lot of you know my beverage of choice and I don't want to have that while I'm here, um, but I do want to have that same uh, flavor. So I've gone for a Panamanian lager and this one is a um, Panama Lager Botella. It's, uh, it's hopefully it's a light beer. That's what I like. Um, thank you so very much. Yes, thank you. So it's a classic lager I'm looking at. And here we go. Beverage of my choice. So I will say whenever I do go out um, and they give me a glass, with a bottle, I will use it, because I like it. Normally, I like to drink from the bottle, but uh, in other countries, I enjoy drinking it from the glass. I don't know why that is, but cheers, salute. Uh, thank you for being here with us. Many more episodes to come, and I hope you're enjoying them all with us having a great time making these and we can't do it without you so let me ask you please if you haven't joined us please hit that subscribe button if you're new here please tell your friends about us if you're old here share please anyway having a great time we don't know where we want to go anyway cheers to you salute wonderful thank you all right i got my ceviche and I don't do this, so today is going to be a special day for me and for you to see me eating this. Um, I'm nervous, but I'm confident. I'm going to try something I don't normally like, but um, I don't even know how to eat it. So let's take a look though first, so you understand what I'm saying. I think I'm supposed to do this and do this and then to eat it. I don't I don't know. We'll figure that out. But 
I think I'm gonna try it. Now this is a white fish. And I asked, was it frozen? And she said yes. It has a good smell. There's no fish smell. Okay. You remember when I said I don't like ceviche? That's tasty. I'll take that back. This was 11 US dollars. And the uh, Panamanians accept United States dollar as their own currency as well. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do, if I'm supposed to put them in these little bowls, but I'm gonna fill one up. It's warm, this is hot actually to the touch. Um, it smells deep fried, which you can see that it is. Fill this, I'm gonna fill this up. Get used to it, you're gonna have more of it. All right, come on, let's see if I like it. try it. I'm like Mikey. I'll try anything once, right? I like it. I like this a lot. So, my taste buds have changed, apparently. Maybe it's time for me to start eating some more whitefish. I will say, though, if I could add anything to this, I would ruin it. It is that good. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Alright, where to next? Let's head on out. So just walking through here, I have noticed that the national police will not permit me in certain locations. I attempted, and they're like, nope, leave. Of course I attempted, I have to. It looked beautiful down that location. Well, it looks like we're in the market, the outdoor market area and also some shops, so let's take a look. There seem to be a lot of leather goods. Um, I'm not in the mood right now to purchase anything, but I just kind of want to look. So it's uh, two sides of the street and the middle is separated by the containers and then there's different um, vendors. Oh, now these look good. Oh, those look really good. See, I'm shocked there's not more food vendors out here. Like, you can really entice some spending with some food vendors but this place is uh it's big you can find a lot of items you're looking for even if you didn't think you wanted it you could find it we got a food vendor over here it's something coconut i'm not in mood for that at the moment oh what is this all right you can walk through it well, let's walk through I like to walk through things. I don't know what it is, so let's go. The pharmacy. Thank <laughs> you. 
So we're in the Galleria Central Pharmacy and try to walk through, you can't. You know, watching people steal is not fun. I don't like it, but I am a foreigner in their country and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't have a clue. I recorded, they, you can see it too. Um, he may, he may have uh, worked there, I don't know. So I didn't question, I'm just out of here. I mean, it wasn't much, but it's just weird to see. So as I keep walking, I'm like, okay, where am I? I don't have no clue. Um, I'm just gonna get on Uber here in a few minutes and find a way back to my hotel. I have no clue where I am. I would love to have a uh, beverage of my choice, but I'm not seeing any in this area. Uh, this is more for local vendors to come sell their merchandise, which is awesome. I mean, the plantain, did you see that? It's huge. Uh, some of the fresh fruit here is definitely um, local and uh, magical. Like I say magical, what I mean by it, it's just, it's just awesome to see everybody come together as a collective community and to be able to do this with each other and help each other and survive together. So I like it a lot. Um, it's good vibes around here right now, it really is. All right, y'all, I'm gonna hit my Uber. Um, it's still daylight outside right now, but I don't know what I wanted to do. My whole plans changed completely. And I think I'm just gonna relax a little bit um, I'm gonna take it all in. I wanna look at this video. It's really cool being here. Anyway, if you like this video and others like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, click that bell for future notifications. Like I told you, as flight attendants and traveling jump seaters, we go to a lot of places. I hope you follow along with us. We're having a great time. Okay, we'll see you soon, okay? Have fun, bye.